Racktastic Voyage, everybody. And welcome back to the console. Welcome back to our little corner of the internet where we talk about consoles and the people who frack with them. Frack the consoles. With me today, I have Tyler Weist. Tyler, what's up? Nothing too much. Uh, really excited to be talking about consoles today and to be fracking with y'all. Oh yeah, me too, buddy. Ken Dog, what is up? Hey, I am happy to be here and and uh, consoles are my main jam, so let's get talking about them. Consoles are also my main jam as well, friend. As well, friend, mostly because I have, you know, terrible PCs. Yeah, my, my PC is seven years old and needs a good dusting. <laughs> hey, uh, Tyler, man, what, what you been up to? What you been playing, man? So, full disclosure, I um, decided to get Call of Duty Vanguard because I wanted to play the single player um and i can that's gonna be a whole nother episode was not stoked and i have lots of complaints so i actually put it down and i've been playing this game called enlisted uh which is free to play on xbox and i think it's also out for playstation um and it's also for, for steam but the the whole point of the game is it's like a world war ii shooter where you run in a squad of ai and then when you die, you just spawn as your other squad member bots. Um, and it's uh, objective-based, like like Battlefield Conquest, where you capture points. Um, and it's it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's free-to-play, so I've just been playing it every night for like the past week. Awesome, man. Awesome. That sounds awesome. You said it's on Xbox? Yeah. Right on, right on. All right, Ken Dog. What have you been on? What have you been on, man? What you been on? Nice. Yeah, uh, like Tyler, I I was a little more reserved on Vanguard, so I skipped it. Um, Battlefield has been again. We'll, another episode. We'll talk about it. Um, so I skipped both those. I've been playing a game called First Class Trouble. Similar, it's free to play. It's on PlayStation. It's a uh, like Among Us. You, you have a group of six people, one, uh, one or two of you is a robot, and the rest of you are humans. Uh, you go around, you do your challenges, the robots are trying to murder the humans, the humans are trying to find out who are the robots. It's an easy little 10, 15 minute round game. Um, I find that if you if you have a group of uh, three or more, like you'll, you'll end up laughing and having a good time. So so uh, some of my friends and I will, will join up and we'll play those games. and. Uh, it's free to play on PlayStation right now. I'm not sure about Xbox, um, but I I strongly recommend checking it out. As you started talking about it, I I feel like I did see something on it. Was that at uh, like a state of play? Uh, yeah, kind of? it was it was on a state of play, and then as well as that, uh, I think it was promoted as like one of the PSN games of the month. Um, so like it, if you boot up like anybody who has a PlayStation Four or Five, if you Put it turned it on um i'm sure you saw it on the home screen somewhere but it definitely was at a state of play gotcha right on. yeah that sounds kind of cool it seems like i don't know that it's with among us you know what i mean it's like almost like they're making like their shtick you know what i mean like yeah there's, like those games are gonna because among us was so popular those games are gonna be a dime a dozen now um but like when you find one that has like a cool little niche to it like uh you kind of kind of can have some fun to it um I like that it's free to play because there's no investment in it. If it sucks, I can just remove it. Um, but if we all like it, which we, uh, like my friends and I did, um, you just jump in, play a couple rounds, and then, uh, yeah. Right on, right on. Um, well, me, myself, I have been playing – actually, I've been playing a few different things. Um, but I'm going to focus on one of them. Well, I'll tell you guys, I've been playing, I've been playing the, the Halo uh, – beta um slash early release um i've been playing um a little bit of shin megami tensei 5 on switch um but that kind of got shut down as soon as the 19th rolled around in pokemon came out. <laughs> actually a really similar game so um, i'm like kind of getting this uh, scratching this itch and um that's what we're kind of going to lead into is really the the, the launch of pokemon um uh, I, it's funny because i was like i was worried I was like, I, I didn't know when I was going to play Pokemon because I was, I, I never played a Shin Megami Tensei game 
and I was and I'm getting into it. Um, and it's like it's like November 18th. And I'm like, oh man, like I'm like really into this game. I'm gonna go buy Pokemon though. Um, and just you know what I mean, just have it. And you know, I'll get to it whenever. Um, I was like, but you know, I'll start it. You know, it's it's freaking 12 p.m. It's launched, you know what I mean? (laughs) I'll start playing it, you know, whatever. And you know, I've been playing it ever since. (laughs) Yeah. You're playing it. You're playing it right now. flickering on my life no, um i will be playing it you know post taste as soon as we're finished with this but i um hey was, quick it, quick question really, who was your st- who was your starter chimchar i uh, had a feeling yeah, yeah chimchar chimchar it looks so freaking cool and i don't ever like pick i rarely pick fire starters i usually pick water starters since since red since uh you first, know, og red and blue first fire fighting and infernape's pretty pretty brutal like if you get the right move set on him Matt, um, is he the first? wasn't combuskin uh oh blaziken yeah you're right okay this is the where they started the firefighting trend that people got sick of okay yeah good point um but yeah 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 i yeah i, Chim-Char, I think simchar looks really cool um and i am a um I am a style over substance Pokemon trainer. If you don't uh, belong <laughs> on my team, I don't care how strong, uh, how good your stats are. If you are an ugly Pokemon, I'm not. I'm not picking you. you okay. You better have Luxray. a. You better have a Luxray then. I do have a Luxray. Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. I named him Lion-O. <laughs> so I wanted to ask sight that. Beyond sight. <laughs> are, <laughs> are who? Who is a, a name purist, as in you just leave the Pokemon, whatever the Pokemon's name is, and who names their Pokemon? Like, but so, so when I play the game, I never like to nickname my Pokemon for some psychotic reason that I'm sure I need therapy for. Um, but I'm wondering, you guys, did you guys nickname your Pokemon? Only my favorites. Yeah. Um, did you okay. Say yeah. Favorite? Only my oh, favorites. Okay. Like, only like three Pokemon I've ever like renamed. Like okay. even way back in red and blue, it was like as as soon as I got like a Charizard, I'm like, you are now renamed to <laughs> I forget why I even renamed him, but uh <laughs> Yeah, but like Fire Lord. Yeah, it's something like that. It was something like yeah. little teenage <laughs> like preteen me would have named him. Yeah. Um, when I was growing up, um, and probably because I was watching the anime, um, I, you know, I didn't want to name my Pokemon anything because, you know, I'm watching Ash and he's like, no, he calls him Pikachu. You know what I mean? He calls yeah. him Pikachu. Yeah. Doesn't matter. He calls him Charizard. He calls him whatever the heck his name is, too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I, so I felt that way. It wasn't until I became an adult Pokemon player. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I can have fun with this. Right. Like, now I name every Pokemon that I catch. Um, unless like I know that I don't care about them, unless I know yeah. like you know what I'm just catching you just to get a ball to, off. You know what I mean? Badoof, like I'm catching a Badoof just to fill out the Pokedex. Exactly. Like I don't plan on using this thing at all. Like then I I won't name it. Then I'll just you know what I mean. Okay. Like, or if I'm like looking for an ability or something, you know what I mean? Which yeah. is honestly rare because I don't do a lot of like competitive Pokemon, you know what I mean? As much as yeah. I like I don't do a lot of competitive Pokemon. So it's like it's like rare that I'm actually even playing Pokemon in that way. But you know, sometimes I do, you know. I, yeah. in, in groups of friends, you know what I mean? We might have tournaments around here and then uh, you know, I guess like, yeah. gotta build something up real quick. Um, okay, so thought as far as thought that the Pokemon launched, as far as thoughts on its remake capabilities, um, capabilities of remake, it's you know, it, it, it's a cool, I can only speak so much because Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were actually the generations that I skipped. Um, so I had been looking forward to this because I would actually, I you know, it, it's allowing me to play this this thing that I that I missed when I was growing up. Um, well, actually, I was already, I was like already in college when this, when yeah. The, um so that was like the that was more of a can't afford a ds you know what i mean than, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like so but I, I i'm finding it very interesting um one thing no i did i i played like the, a bare minimum of, of pokemon diamond like um but one thing that i that a lot of people talk about and that i found about the old one is that it's um sometimes you get lost like it's actually kind of an expansive game like you kind of you, you're going this way and then that way and then you go this way and then you go around there and you know and it's not unlike other pokemon games but this one it's, just felt 
a lot it's more. A, it's the first know. one that's not exactly linear. I mean, it, it's still linear, but the map, the way you look at it, it doesn't go like, okay, I'm going from Pallet Town to Viridian City to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, like you, you don't see the layout directly as it correlates. Whereas here, here like, I remember, um, and I'm struggling, because it's funny that you say that. I haven't bought the remakes yet, but I plan to. But in high school, I had a DS. Uh, I didn't have any games. All of my friends had picked up Diamond and Pearl day one. I was working at Target, um, and uh, somebody somebody said like, "Oh, you should you should get Diamond or Diamond or Pearl." And we had like one copy of Pearl left, and I was like, "Screw it, it's payday. I'll buy it." Bought it. Like ended up sinking. I don't know, like 120 plus hours into the game. Um, just from just from playing it and like trying to complete the decks or find a Garchomp or whatever I was doing, um, but it's from everything I've heard, it's uh, minus not having the national decks. I guess it's everything up to Gen Four, which makes sense. Um, I've heard it's it it kind of hits a lot of that um, later millennial crowd like right in the nostalgia which is um when omega ruby or sapphire came out hit the, the people before that or um when the red and blue got released on 3ds uh, like that i i spent uh i don't know how many hours like replaying that like when pokemon snap came out again on on switch yep it's a it's a fairly faithful to that point. It's a fairly faithful remake with um with good updated um quality of life mechanics. Um, they brought over from Let's Go Pikachu the ability to just kind of hop into your box, in and out of your box, um without going to a Pokemon Center, which is awesome. Um, you it just takes away a lot of the like minutia that you had to do in a lot of older Pokemon the, games. I, I've heard the HM mechanic is uh now on the poke watch and you don't have to waste move slots on your pokemon mm -hmm. there are object when you hit when you go into the menu there's objectives now it's at the bottom of the screen it, it, it tells you what you should be doing basically cool like, which no other pokemon game that i can think no. of has before and it's like there's... if i hadn't played this game in like two months i'll pick it up and i'm like <laughs> i don't know where i'm supposed to go right now it's like, funny you say that i've restarted pokemon games because i put them down and i forgot what i was supposed to do next exactly exactly you know what i mean so yeah it's like that and like you said the the hms are on the uh the poke the poke catch um uh the poke watch you know what i mean which i think is a much better <laughs> way to say yeah. that than poke catch, but whatever um you but they do they do have a throwback too because everybody used to just get a badoof and just stick all the hms on there so they have a when you use an HM move, a random Pokemon basically just shows up out of the wild and like does the move for you. And most of the more, more often um, on there, yeah, yeah. But other than that, like, yeah, it's it's fun. I haven't beat it yet. I'm about halfway. I got four badges. Um, but the I'll say the experience share like really makes me feel like I'm over leveled a lot. But yeah, there are level spikes in the game. Like multiple, yeah. there are multiple yeah. level spikes in the game. So it's like it feels when you're in it, it feels like dang, dude. Like I am like just gonna kill everything like in this, in this game. And then yeah. you get to the point, and it's like, oh, okay, like this is why, this is why I, uh, I'm like super level. Uh, I've heard that there's an issue with the shiny lure, um, or I forget what the uh, the item's called, but I guess it doesn't work currently, or isn't programmed to work currently, and doesn't increase the the shiny rate that could appear um so there's like i guess a couple of small minor bugs but yeah like the uh when i heard about the hm thing and like the little badoof like easter egg that pops up i was like okay that's cool like nintendo's listening to its fan base like it knows um and i it, i makes me more and more curious uh the one question that i still have is if it's following the platinum storyline or the the diamond and pearl original storyline um, the people I've talked to that have played it haven't been able to like clarify that just yet. Um, and I'm not sure as to why I played, I played Pearl and I played platinum and even myself right now, I can't tell you the main difference other than what I remember about platinum is you step into another dimension to catch, 
the uh, Giratina like change form or like the 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 other yeah. form that it has. Um, and I know that there's some other like storyline changes because it platinum fills it out a little bit more. Um, I'd be I I'd be confused why they wouldn't just do the platinum storyline because I I'm doubt they're gonna make a platinum remake game. Um, so I I think you're at about the same place a lot of the people I've talked to are at about four or five badges in. Um, so I'm waiting because I know it happens not late game, but it happens kind of like around, I think the sixth or seventh badge, the game sends you on like what feels like a lot of side quests. Um, but really it's like giving you more story and lore. Um, from what I heard and I, you know, I can't speak, like I said, I can't speak from experience cause I didn't play platinum and what of probably diamond I played was like so minimal that like, you know, I can't remember it, but I, it's mostly just like diamond and pearl, um, okay. probably with some platinum thrown in, you know what I mean? Cause obviously platinum is the expansion. So I wouldn't imagine they would do a full on remake and not add in some of the things that were in the expansion. You know what I mean? Um, they also have the, the, uh, there's also the, the grand underground, um, which you can, once you get to like, uh, I don't know, badge three or so, you can pretty much freely dive into it. Um, it's like a, a whole nother overworld. Um, yeah, it's like a m mini game, right? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. It's, really expensive. it's a bit like the world itself is very large. Like it's probably about as large as the actual game world. Um, yeah. Because you can go into it at any point on the map and you'll end up at a different spot on the, in the underworld. Yeah. Uh, you can kind of traverse it and there's like rarer species of pokemon and the more you do above world the more it unlocks underworld um and it just makes for this kind of really addictive gameplay loop i i, I would say like because it's like this whole other thing that you can kind of do and a lot of times i just am just progressing enough so that i can unlock something else that i can yeah. go back kind of go back into the underworld and just kind of f around you know what I mean? yeah it's still where you get like fossils and shards and like i think you can get like rare candies and some other stuff too mm -hmm. and cool. it's, it's multiplayer as well if you want that's right and with so i remember on the ds they had that and it was multiplayer but the ds multiplayer was like local play so you had to have, hang out with six other people that had a ds within 20 feet of each other Whereas now the, the Switch online, you you have the ability to play that with anybody, anytime, anywhere, which I probably lends itself and makes it a more fun part of the game. I would agree. Nice. I would agree. Um, do you want to talk about anything else? <laughs> I, I just want to shout out that this game has sold 22 million copies and is... Um, the best Pokemon uh, game launch that they've had uh, in a, a couple years since they had that Pikachu game. Interesting. Uh, so um, everything you're saying justifies that, I guess, is uh, they're doing something right. Um, I feel like with Pokemon, just a comment, is they have a formula that works, but they keep, like, they've had a couple of these HD remakes that haven't been as successful. Um, and some of the innovation you've mentioned of late is probably why this one is more successful than the other ones that have failed. Yeah. Like Pokemon's always going to move units, um, but it, it takes, um, I don't know if it's like hitting nostalgia at the right time, like a bunch of 22 to 24, five-year-olds who played this game at, when they were 12 or 13 mm -hmm. are now falling back in love with it and now they have money to fall back in love with it <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. it's um it, it just was that good of a game in the first place and mm -hmm. it's uh sorry m my dog's crying um yeah or if it's just that good of a game that that in the in the first place that mm -hmm. it justifies the the attention and record sales that it's getting yeah or both yeah, it's, or both it's hard for pokemon to come out i feel like 
it's rare for me to see Pokemon, if I've ever seen Pokemon come out with something and it not freaking sell like gangbusters. You know what I mean? Like, and it not do so much <laughs> more than you might think. You know what I mean? Like, I remember when Sword and Shield marketing was out and like how much hate uh, that was getting from a lot of yeah. the, the, you know, fans or whatever. And like that game came out and it's like, it sold to the point that like you wouldn't know that people were hating on that crap. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, who cares? Who cares what they had to say? You know, it came out and a bunch and like a million people bought it. You know what I mean? Including me. Some people bought both versions for whatever reason. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Hey, when I was a kid, I, I had a uh, red, blue, yellow. And wasn't there a green one too? Eventually they green. came out. Yeah. Green was uh, originally Japanese exclusive, and then uh-huh. they uh, when they remade um, Red the, and uh, Blue technically, yeah. they changed it from the, to Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, but it was still Red and Blue. Okay, I I tracked that down at some point whenever all that happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm uh, I'm happy Pokemon is still innovating and still selling, um, and uh, I'm happy that uh because what they did was smart they just like people are getting tired of this universe we're just not universe but how 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 else do you say it we're just gonna make 150 more pokemon and everything yeah doing that every couple years or like half decade to the point where they they just started ripping off digimon and yeah yeah and that's a whole nother show (laughs) yes absolutely uh go back and look at that on frack the cannon (laughs) i'm sure i brought up that argument before that was a great episode link to yeah. in the description below maybe <laughs> yeah do <laughs> our um, due diligence <laughs> <laughs> um no, i will say uh, if i don't forget it what what i'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, crap oh um i i think i mean what the, there's truth to what you guys are saying obviously like pokemon like They've been making the same game for 20 years, you know what I mean? Like, so, like, yeah. they're getting better at making this same exact game. Um, but I think we are actually reaching, I think they're about to turn over a new leaf. And I think um, Pokemon BDSP is the start of it, not because of what it is, um, but because of how it was made. This is made not by Game Freak, um, it's made by. Uh, who's freaking what's the name of them i can't remember their name but they made they made the pokemon home app though um okay it's like but it's it's still masuda uh, one of the directors from you know og pokemon masuda um yeah it's still running it but it's not game freak it's the i can't remember the name of the company but um but then game freak is now focusing on arceus um so i think that we're about to reach like a, a new turning point for pokemon some yeah something, there, arceus there's... is is going to be a completely different game than what we're kind of a, used to mm-hmm. but even then the structure of how they are doing things even you know what i mean like arceus yeah. is different period but then like the, here's the structure here's the remake we're giving it to another thing so we can focus on this other yeah. thing you know, focus on this newer innovative thing and they and, and they um in that way they're able to kind of please both sides you know when anytime like you get fans of of uh, uh big fans of, of anything right you change it even iter- iteratively change it a little bit and you got a lot you piss off so many people because like oh no you're not doing that thing that i wanted you to do and then you got other people who are like well no like i wanted you to change this you know what i mean so heck yeah you know what i mean but i also wanted you to keep this other crap in there you know what i mean that you didn't um so i i think with this i think it's a really smart idea for them to be like no okay we're doing a remake and this is very like just that game like yeah. it has quality of life improvements but this is very much just that game and now we're doing this other game though too that's very different from what we've done before um so in a way it's like have your cake and eat it too you know what i mean in a way it's yeah. like oh, those of you who it, kind of just want this here go play that those of you who want something like this here, you can play this too yeah you know? it seems like they they went to br- two branches uh one is if you want your traditional style kind of pokemon game we're gonna make that it might be a remake but we're going to make it and, but don't worry. Like we're also making something new. I'll just end uh, my Pokemon on. Uh, I'm still waiting for a game that allows you to go to every Island. Yeah. You mean every region or every <laughs> yeah. region? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I, too. I, 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 I agree, dude. I, you know, I want, I, I think everybody kind of wants that, um, that Pokemon, kind of, kind of a Pokemon MMO, right? Like, essentially, right? Uh, like, I don't, I don't even need an MMO. I, I have a soft pitch idea. Um, whether you you change the level scale so you end Kanto and and your Pokemon are at level sixteen at max, or you you they force you to uh, reset your team until you finish all of the regions and then you're able to to import them over. Um, I think I th- I've talked to enough people about this that I think there's enough draw there that they can do it, and with the the power of the Switch or the Switch Pro like whatever there's enough ability to make a game like that happen. I'm just surprised. I, or I just don't know if Nintendo's like hearing that fans kind of want this. I, and you know, uh, to, just to that point, like that's why generation two is, was always my favorite because, you know, you get to the end of mm-hmm. that you get to the end and it's like, Oh, you get to play this whole other freaking thing. Like, are you kidding me? And I was that's like, why, they've never that's done why, Yeah. Yeah, That's I mean, why Heart Gold and Soul Silver still fetch a high price in the secondary market, because they're, they're the closest thing that we get to that. I don't, like some commenter suggested, I did uh, check out a tab of that that company, and it's ILCA Ilka. <laughs> it's the <laughs> that makes that makes BDSP. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, as far as yeah, uh, I'm, but yeah. It, anyway, I'm I'm having a blast with with Pokemon uh, BDSP. I think it's an interesting direction, and I am more interested to see the next like, are they going to continue this this trend? This trend? Um, will Ilka make the um, Pokemon black and white? You know what I mean? Pokemon yeah. dark black and Pokemon bright white. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Pitch black and and uh, shining shining white. I... That's way better. Yeah. <laughs> That's way better. Black yeah. hole supernova. I don't know. Random white thing. <laughs> random black thing. <laughs> right on. Um, well, yeah, you know, we just kind of wanted to get in front of you guys and chat a bit about what we've been doing, what we've been playing. Um, thanks as always. Thanks for joining me, Tyler. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining me, Kenny. Absolutely, anytime. DJ, thank you for being here too. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yes, thanks for being here. All right, so (laughs) we'll see you guys next time on Practical Console. Power down. Yeah.